Welcome to Vehicle Delivery Part 2 of a two-part Daimler Chrysler Academy course intended to reinforce relationship selling skills. Part 1 was a video presentation on product presentation. If you have attended a relationship selling workshop, this video presentation will be a good refresher of key concepts. If you have not, then this will be new information to incorporate into your sales process. In either case, this course will give you helpful ideas for building relationships with your customers in the new vehicle delivery step of your sales process. Before we get into the new vehicle delivery, we'll spend just a few minutes reviewing a high-level description of the relationship selling process. For a more detailed description, return to the product presentation video, part one, in this two-part series. Relationship selling is a sales process based on a very simple concept, that building relationships with customers is the key to customer loyalty. And customer loyalty leads to profitability through repeat sales and referral sales. Making money is always a motivator, but by building relationships with your customers, you also ensure yourself a solid base of customers who already know and trust you, the kind of customers who make your job easier. Building relationships is a matter of implementing a few key steps in the selling process. It's really very simple. Relationship selling takes the traditional sales process, keeps the same basic steps in the same order, but defines the focus. To build the relationship with the customer, you spend more time on the upfront steps, getting to know the customer and understanding what the customer wants and needs. With that kind of groundwork, less time is spent on closing. When a customer comes into the dealership, to set the right welcoming tone, reception should be similar to welcoming guests into your home. The purpose of reception is to make customers feel comfortable and welcome. You should introduce yourself and your dealership let the customer tell you how you can best help them and let them tell you how they want to proceed. The purpose of the interview is to determine the customer's needs and wants. As a rule, in the interview you should be listening 80% of the time and talking only 20% of the time. As another rule, you should ask six to eight open-ended questions, such as, tell me what you like about your current vehicle. The interview is successful when you can help your customer select the vehicle they want. The product presentation is your opportunity to show your customers that you can present a vehicle that meets the needs discovered in the interview process and it shows off your depth of product knowledge, including knowledge of your competition. The demonstration drive gives you another opportunity to show the customer that you've been listening and to tailor the drive to the specific customer based on information gathered in the interview. The goal of purchase consultation is to work with the customer on a commitment to purchase settling on a price agreeable to the customer and the dealership. This is not like the traditional closing or negotiation tactics that customers may be used to. It's a much more open and honest discussion of price and value. Purchase consultation can be the most intimidating part of the process for many customers, so it is an important place to build trust. Relationship selling delivery is different from traditional sales delivery because it is arranged around the customer Delivery time and day, even location, should be arranged around the customer's schedule. And the other parts to delivery, a tour of the dealership, introduction to service personnel, the presentation of the vehicle, all of these steps are intended to make the ownership experience easier for your customer, to build the relationship between the customer and the dealership. Follow-up is important because it allows you to continue the relationship you have built with the customer to ensure customer loyalty and retention. By contacting your customers at regular intervals by phone and in writing, lifetime relationships are built. Throughout the process, it is critical that you do not move on until your customer has given you permission to do so. Make sure the customer is comfortable with what has happened and what is going to happen next at all times. The big difference about the way relationship selling works is that the customer is given choices every step of the way. Building the relationship with the customer means earning the customer's trust. Many customers are intimidated by vehicle selection, negotiation, F&I. In fact, by the whole dealership experience. It's your job to take away that intimidation factor and make them feel comfortable with the process. To build toward loyalty, you have to make customers feel special. And that's where our last key premise of relationship selling comes in. And that premise is that small points can make a major difference. Do the unexpected for the customer. 
These small points can have a very big effect on customer loyalty. Above all, throughout the process, it is important to demonstrate your professionalism. To be that professional consultant that your customers will respond to, it's important to continually improve your sales process. As we go through the detailed review of the delivery step of the process, take notes on ideas that will help you improve your process and increase your professionalism. Vehicle delivery is the culminating step in the sales process. You do a lot of hard work to get there, and this is your opportunity to make a positive, lasting impression on your customer. The way to keep the importance of this step front of mind is this. Think about what happens as soon as the customer drives a new vehicle home. Everyone who sees the new vehicle will ask questions like these. How do you like your new car? Did you get a good deal? How were you treated at the dealership? What kind of answers would you like your customers to give? What if every one of your customers answered those questions with these kinds of answers? I love my car. I got a great deal. I would definitely buy from that dealership again. And I was so impressed with my sales consultant that I think you should go to the same one. How would that kind of positive word of mouth advertising affect your customer base? So the importance of delivery is clear. But how do you ensure a perfect delivery every time? Following the same process every time will ensure consistent delivery for every customer. And following the right process will help you ensure that every delivery builds customer loyalty. This process includes all of the relevant steps to the process. Scheduling delivery, vehicle inspection, preparing the paperwork, greeting the customer, presenting the paperwork, touring the facility, presenting the vehicle, and follow-up. Having a process doesn't mean that everything happens the same way every time. It just means that you have a plan to follow. That plan can and should change to suit the needs of each individual customer. The steps are important, but just as with the overall relationship selling process, it's how you make those steps happen that builds the customer relationship. And if customer loyalty is not enough of a motivator, Keep in mind the importance of the feedback that customers give to Daimler Chrysler about their delivery through the SSI surveys that they complete. A professional delivery means good SSI scores for you. As we go through the process, take notes on new ideas to practice and incorporate into your process. Buying a new vehicle is a huge decision for most customers, one of the biggest purchase decisions many customers will make, so it is important to be prepared to make it as smooth as possible. The first three steps in the delivery process are all about upfront preparation for a flawless delivery. Scheduling delivery, vehicle inspection, and preparing the paperwork. To schedule the delivery, you will need information from the customer first, a convenient date and time, and any special needs, such as off-site delivery. You will also need information from your service department. When can the vehicle be prepped and ready, and has the quality check been completed? Finally, you will need to give information. Inform the customer of how long the delivery appointment will take and describe what they will experience. And inform any appropriate team members of the date and time of delivery so that they can be ready to participate. To make sure the vehicle is ready for your customer, you will want to inspect it yourself prior to the delivery appointment. Take a look at your service department's prep checklist and create your own inspection checklist. Focus on items that will be important to customers. Is the vehicle clean? Fuel tank full? Your business card available in the glove compartment? Test all the controls and systems yourself. You don't want any surprises at delivery, except for any pleasant surprises, like thank you gifts for your customer. The last part of preparing for the delivery appointment is preparing the paperwork. It is important to process, prepare, and organize all of the paperwork you will need in advance to make sure that the customer experience goes smoothly show off your professionalism by being totally organized and ready. In addition to the required paperwork, you might prepare the customer's owner's manual. Highlight or flag important sections to make them easier for the customer to find. When you do the product presentation and delivery, you can explain what's flagged for the customer's convenience. The next four steps in the process are parts of the actual delivery appointment, greeting the customer, presenting the paperwork, touring the facility, and presenting the vehicle. The greeting should be the same friendly, professional greeting that starts off the whole relationship selling process, with one difference. This time, you already know this customer. Greet them as a friend. 
Be waiting for your customer at the appointed time and make sure to explain the delivery process to them. Again, ensuring that your customer is comfortable with the process before moving on. When presenting the paperwork, it is important that you spend enough time, but not too much, on each document. This means asking the customer throughout if they understand, if they're ready to move on, or if they need more detail. Explain all documents in clear, simple terms and include any warranty and service contract details. Highlight the roadside assistance program details. Finally, to maintain appropriate documentation files, it is important to have your customer verify and sign all documents. Delivery is the end of the sales process, but the beginning of the ownership process. It is the time to encourage your customer to continue the relationship with the dealership. Take your customer on a tour of your dealership. Introduce the service manager, a service advisor, and at least one person in parts. Make sure the customer has business cards to contact service and explain hours of operation and the service appointment scheduling process. You might also step outside and show the customer where to park when visiting service or parts, which door to come in, and where the waiting room is. End the tour in the delivery area of your showroom if you have one, or wherever the customer's vehicle is waiting. To personalize the experience for your customer, involve them in the demonstration of vehicle features. Make sure that you respect their time in this process. Make the presentation as brief or as detailed as the customer wants it to be. Throughout the presentation, congratulate your customer on what a good decision they've made on how much they will enjoy their vehicle. Focus on the features that will fit in with the personal details they've shared with you. Cargo space, safety features, interior comfort, whatever appeals most to your customer. Give your customer their owner's manual and point out the parts you have flagged or highlighted. Go through frequently asked customer questions about items such as setting the clock and radio buttons, the location of the jack and spare tire, and any other questions that your customers commonly ask you. The last item on your delivery checklist should be thanking the customer. In addition to thanking your customer in person to close the delivery appointment, you should thank them for their business, again in a follow-up call within 48 hours of delivery. Ask the customer if they are completely satisfied with their new vehicle, and make sure that you resolve any concerns. Let the customer know that you're always available to help them with any vehicle needs, including making their first service appointment for them. If you work in a five-star dealership, follow-up with every sales customer is required within seven days, so your call might help your dealership maintain five-star certification. The relationship doesn't end with that call. A thank you note the following week, another call 30 days later to check in and make sure the customer is still satisfied and to answer any questions they might have. These are ways to maintain contact, and if you maintain contact throughout the customer's ownership cycle, repeat business is much more likely. Repeat business is one of the benefits of successful relationship selling, but it does depend on the quality of the relationships that you build with your customers. Delivery is an emotional experience for the customer, so it is a time when a small point can really make a major difference. An unexpected gesture that demonstrates your understanding of the customer can have a lot of impact. Standard trinkets like ice scrapers or candy have become so commonplace that they don't carry much weight with customers anymore. But a special touch that tells the customer that you know them as an individual, that you listen to the personal details they told you, and that their business is so valuable to you that you will go out of your way to impress them, that kind of a special touch brings customers back. Talk to your colleagues about the kinds of special touches that they add to delivery. Make it a topic at a sales meeting. Spend some time really thinking about what would impress you if you were the customer. And use all of that information to make every delivery special for every individual customer. Remember what happens as soon as the customer drives a new vehicle home. Everyone who sees a new vehicle will ask questions like these. How do you like your new car? Did you get a good deal? How were you treated at the dealership? What kind of answers would you like your customers to give? There are clearly several key elements in new vehicle delivery. This new vehicle delivery check sheet is a requirement of five-star dealers. Five-star or not, a tool like this can help you not only keep on track during delivery, but can help you communicate your efforts to your customer. It includes pertinent information that customizes the process for your customer, such as name and VIN. It includes steps you should incorporate in your pre-delivery setup, such as filling the fuel tank and presetting the radio and clock. 
The delivery steps are thorough as well and result in your agreement that the vehicle is equipped as agreed on. There is also an area for recording customer follow-up information and customer signatures. A check sheet is simply a tool you can use to help improve your efforts to develop and maintain customer relationships. Relationships are the key to building loyalty, and while every interaction with the customer is important, some are more significant to the customer than others. Delivery is critical because this forms the customer's lasting impression of you and your dealership. It's a big moment for most customers, so it has to be a big moment for you too. Remember, delivery is a big opportunity for you to interact with your customer. Your professional, consistent, and enthusiastic approach to delivery can help you build the kind of relationships that lead to loyalty and sales. Make the most of this opportunity, and it will create other opportunities for you. Continued good selling.